Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have an unboxing of the Mystery Historical Romance box that um, Jessica from Peace Love Books did an unboxing of this on her channel. And I have seen Books with Samantha do this several times. Um, but in Jessica's video, she said she was very specific with them about what she wanted. And well, of course, not all of the books, um, like, were what she specifically asked for, but they did try to give her some books that were like the authors or whatever that she asked for. I thought that was really cool. Um, it is like an actual bookstore, so like they have a big selection to choose from, and it's like pretty reasonably priced. I think the box is $25 for 20 books plus like $2 shipping, so it's not bad at all. Um, I asked them for some Beverly Jenkins books because I have not been able to find them at any stores around me. So because this is a store, like, I don't know if they will have had them either, but I'm hoping. So I asked for Beverly Jenkins, and I can't remember if I asked for Julie Garwood or Judith McNaught. I get those two mixed up. I feel like I asked for Julie Garwood, but I guess we will see when we get in here. So, so let's start looking. Okay, so sorry this box is, like, in screen. I don't really, it's huge. I don't really know where to put it. Okay, so from Victoria Alexander, we have Love with the Proper Husband. I did also tell them that I wanted step backs if possible. Um, I'm not going to go through what all these are about just because there's a lot. Okay, here is Ravenwood's Lady by Amanda Scott. This one looks quite old. I'm not usually a fan of... Actually, I haven't read any, so I probably shouldn't say that, but these just don't excite me. These, like, Regency romance old school ones, but... Um, I mean, I haven't ever read any of them, so maybe I should give it a chance, but this one was published in 1984. It has the, those yellow pages. All right, then another one like that, we have Lady Brittany's Choice, also by Amanda Scott. It says one out of two and two out of two, so I don't know if that is a series or what. Then from Tracy Ann Warren, we have Seduced by His Touch. I have not heard of this author. Okay, we have Everything I Ever Wanted by Jo Goodman. Also have not heard of her. Uh, Ladies Little, Lady Light's Little Secret by Deborah Hale. Much Ado About You by Eloisa James. I feel like I might have this one. I do have quite a few Eloisa James books, but like this one's spine is not even cracked. So I might keep this one and get rid of the one I have if I do have a duplicate. All right, then we have Kissing the Countess by Susan King. All right, yeah, it was Julie Garwood. Okay, we have Castles by Julie Garwood. And then I do already own this rose series, but we have one pink rose, one white rose, and one red rose. These are in better shape than mine, though, so I'll probably keep those. I'm not seeing any of Beverly Jenkins, but I don't know that that's their fault. I feel like they probably just don't, didn't have any. All right, we have Never a Lady from Jackie D'Alessandro. It's really pretty. Then we have Only Enchanting by Mary Below. This looks really familiar. I wonder if I own this one. I have four of her books, I think. Um, so, yes. Then we have another one of these Regency romance ones. This is Miss Prentice and the Yankee by Susan Carroll. Oh, there's another Julie Garwood. We have Gentle Warrior by Julie Garwood. I can't remember if I have that one or not. I put her down because I do want to read more of her, and I don't have many. Um, but... I did get some duplicates. I went ahead and pulled the rest out. There aren't any Beverly Jenkins here, but like I said, I don't think that's their fault. I think like it's really difficult to find physical copies of them, clearly, because I don't have any and I've been looking for a while. Okay, we have The Fortune Hunter by Diane Farr. This one has a fake step back. Then we have No Man's Bride by Shanna Galen. I also told them I like like Scottish romances, but I don't think, oh, here's one, okay. Tempted by the Highland Warrior by Michelle Willingham. This is a Harlequin, Harlequin historical. I don't think I knew that they did historicals like that. Then we have Rules of an Engagement by Susan Enoch. I do know that I own this one. Tempted by His Kiss by Tracy Ann Warren. And lastly, The Spiral Path by Mary Jo Putney. So, like I said, this was super fun, super exciting. I, I'm i a little bummed because I didn't get any Beverly Jenkins, but like I said, I don't think it's their fault, 
by any means. I think it is really difficult to find Beverly Jenkins books. So this is still exciting. While I did get some duplicates, I have a bunch of new authors that I've never heard of that I definitely get to try out. And there are some Julie Garwood books here that I get to add to my collection as well. And like, honestly, I was really expecting to get a lot more of these and I'm not too upset by the fact that I only got three of these. And honestly, like, these might be good. I've just never given them a chance. Um, but yeah, I am not upset. I got quite a few, like, good historical. So I'm excited to read some of these, find out more about these authors. But thank you guys so much for watching. I will have the link to this exact box down below. I think there's a few different ones on eBay, but I will have the link to this one linked down below if you were interested. But if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys next time. Bye guys.